What's up guys, Trill here, better known as Budget Bill, and this is your second stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Thursday, October the 1st. I hope you guys and gals are having an awesome morning thus far, but today we have some exciting stimulus news that you don't want to miss out on, so be sure to stay until the end. Today we want to talk about why the House Democrats held off on the stimulus vote yesterday, as well as there is a push to send extra stimulus checks to domestic violence survivors, as well as we are going to talk about the timeline for receiving the next stimulus vote. And also we have breaking news in regards to the status of the government shutdown. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel so I can keep you updated on the latest stimulus check news. Also, be sure to hit the like button if you think that Congress should get off their ass and send you your stimulus checks. On Wednesday, the House was expected to vote on the new Heroes Act 2.0 bill that was introduced last week by the House Democrats. This bill has a price tag of $2.2 trillion, which is about $1 trillion less than the original requested price tag. The Democrats have lowered their amount of funding in an effort to meet the White House in the middle in order to get a second stimulus package approved before the November election. However, they did not vote on the bill last night and decided to hold off for one more day. The House Democrats decided that they wanted to hold off on the stimulus vote to allow more time for bipartisan negotiations. They are calling this the last effort to reach a deal before the election. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin are still far apart. However, negotiations continue according to four sources that were briefed on the topic. These sources said that despite the optimistic words from both Pelosi and Mnuchin, the objective of reaching an agreement with the backing of the Senate GOP leaders and the White House remains a tall order. So for now, the two have agreed to hold off for another day as they want to continue the negotiation talks for the two sides to come closer to having a deal. So today on Thursday, we are expecting to hear some final words in regards to having a stimulus vote as of today. If that happens, I will try to keep you guys up to date on any news that may develop. Steve Mnuchin was on Fox News on Wednesday night and stated that President Trump has instructed him and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows to significantly increase the amount of money in the White House proposal. The problem is, Trump did not say what that amount should be. So, this is definitely some great news as the likelihood of getting this bill passed with an increase in funding could happen very quickly. As I've stated before and I will state it again, I expect this bill to be passed very soon and stimulus checks to be sent out to Americans around mid-October. The reason I say mid-October is because you want the opportunity for majority of Americans or people to receive them before the election day. That way, President Trump can have the extra boost in voters in an attempt to win the election. Sending checks out after the election will not help President Trump out with voters and y'all know he wants to receive credit for getting the deal done. In other news, a bipartisan group of more than 100 House representatives sent a letter to Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and the IRS Commissioner Charles Reddit on Wednesday, urging the IRS to promptly issue stimulus payments to survivors of domestic violence. This group is saying that they have received reports from caseworkers that the money for survivors has been taken or intercepted by abusive partners. So, the lawmakers are urging the IRS to create a process for survivors to notify the IRS that they have not received their payments due to theft or interception by their abusers. The IRS could then use that information to issue payments directly to the survivors. Most domestic violence victims live with their abusers because of insufficient financial means to support themselves and their children. And a $1,200 stimulus check could empower survivors to leave their partners and provide them with the support that they need. 
Now, personally, I don't think $1,200 is enough money to empower them to leave, but I definitely agree that it is a start. You gotta start somewhere. And I like the idea of creating a process for them and to provide some assistance as well. So I actually think this is a great idea, but let me know what you guys think about the IRS sending them another stimulus check directly to the survivors. Let me know down in the comment section. And then we have some breaking news that just happened as I was creating this video. It's about midnight here in Texas, which is Central Standard Time, and the President Donald Trump just signed this stopgap bill to avert a government shutdown. The Senate ended up sending it to the president yesterday afternoon, and I guess after Trump's rally in Minnesota, he headed back to the White House and signed this bill. So the government will have funding to last them through December of 2020. Well, that's all I have for you today on the second stimulus check update news. Now, if you could do me a huge favor, if you found value in this video, be sure to give it a like. It takes a lot of time for me to create these videos, to research the information, as well as to share it with you. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Other than that, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace. Man, I gotta do something with my voice. <laughs>